Yo, so I'm here on my favorite spots in a city where I was born and I'm about to be homeless very soon. They cut off my electricity and soon they're gonna kick me out of my apartment because I cannot afford rent because I haven't been working for a year and a half already and I haven't been able to go back to work and nobody really understands why and I don't have any support I had to cut off my family because my family is the reason why I ended up like this because they abused me as shit but I figured out you know I moved to my hometown because my dad died I inherited flat after him but just like temporary before I solve things out, I have to sort of sell it very soon. So I'm here isolating myself. Basically, I crossed here. I crossed in. I crossed in here like literally because I crossed the car, my mom's car, which was very expensive because because I had a mental breakdown for like a couple of months, and then I had to move just by myself and drive the fucking drive the fucking car over here carry big things whatever i smoked a lot of nicotine like a lot a lot a lot a lot, lot i was like breathing nicotine i was i was vaping so fucking much and because i was so like uh you know pumped up to do it all uh, it's just slipped. My car just crushed. I don't know why I'm talking about it. Uh, whatever. My I crushed. I crushed. I, I arrived in here and I crushed three cars. And f four cars. I crushed four cars when I was parking. And everyone was like, oh my god, you should have told us that you're going to arrive. We would like throw a party. You didn't have to crush our cars. So it's kind of funny, but it was so fucking stressful. I almost killed my dog. I almost ran over my dog. I was so stressed and it was in April and uh, since that I'm isolating myself. I'm just living by myself at my apartment and now yeah things are just like that. It's too long isn't it? But I mean I cannot really short it out you know like you need context. <laughs> Do you? I mean uh, what I'm trying to say is I came into the situation when I am no longer able to work. Yesterday I was working for three hours just just doing job application. Just like submitting job application. And today I got sick. I like I worked like a year ago for like two days and I got so sick for a week. I got cold and like, oh yeah, it was bad. And to, yesterday I, I worked for three hours and today I cannot, I cannot move from my bed really. Um, I feel like, I feel like I have COVID or something. You know what I mean? But I don't, uh, whatever, just working, working. So I'm no, now I'm no longer able to work. Like for me, it's even like, if you've seen my apartment, it's, it's a mess, it's a dumpster. It's ugly, it's ugly as fuck. And I mean like, it's not ugly, but it's so dirty and there's shit everywhere, like literal shit. And I'm just frozen. I'm just frozen in this situation because the situation was going for so long, like basically since I was born. And right now I don't want to go back to work because I know that it's not a solution, you know what I mean? Because, yeah, and because I isolate, I isolated myself to heal myself, to fix myself. And while I was isolating, I was on the psychedelics and then I was like doing, doing different things. And I was self healing. I was doing, I'm um, very good at this. And I figured out, um, I was, I was re-traumatizing re myself. Yes, I was triggering myself, uh, my old memories that was were blocked came to me because I'm here in my hometown in the flat that I was I, I, I grew up and I figured out 
that there is nothing wrong with me, that my parents were so fucking abusive and they had mental health issues. They were both probably autistic, masking very well from outside society. I mean, my mother, she's white and white people do mask everything. And my father just crashed in here just like me and died here drinking himself to death because he was autistic and queer and that's no no that's a big no no in congo where he's from and he was traumatized so much from there that he never ever like from my my memories my father was not here my father was not here it was just glimpses like you know sometimes few few sentences that he said that sounded like he's actually here but most of the time he was he was drowning his pain in alcohol and beating me up and shit so nothing is wrong with me in that sense and then i was like okay so let's heal this trauma and let's review it and i re-traumatize myself and everything but then I was going back and back and back and then I was like searching for my family history. I was searching for Congolese history because my father never uh, talked about Congo. So I was searching through uh, Congolese history and I had this feeling that I'm somehow connected to Congolese heal healing. That I um, come from a um, line of healers. Like, you know, like healers healers uh, community healers or something like that my father did not spoke very well um, my native language was a chuck so he used the word shaman 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 i don't know how to pronounce it in english and he told me that he was baptized by him so i and that the shaman gave him his powers by giving him his name and that he Mm, obtain these power obtain these powers and i was like yeah i was like yeah that's cool actually i was like yeah and yeah i thought the whole time i thought that he can't speak czech very well and he did not teach me french so i couldn't understand him when he was speaking french but I realized that he was not bad in Czech. He was just basically non-verb, mostly non-verbal. I mean, like he spoke to me in Czech, and I had to, I had to, like, be like processing that and like, ah, you meant that because he was he was an immigrant, you know, and it was not his native language. I never ever questioned my father's intelligence. He was he was smart as fuck. And she, he was saying something and I had to figure out what he's saying because it was not, not, not in Czech basically. It was not, he used different words and he used different sentences, but I always understood him. And I thought it's just because he can't speak Czech well, but no, he just normalized autistic approach to communication for me that I never ever questioned it. I never ever questioned like later in my life when somebody clutters or s speaks like weird, you know, like for, I don't know. I mean, like, and I'm like, my, my first reaction is like, I'm trying to understand what this person is telling me. And usually I know, you know, usually I know I'm f for the fuck's sake, I'm autistic. I'm good in recognizing patterns. I'm able to talk to animals. I'm able to talk, you know, whoever. So, uh, what I'm trying to say is getting complicated because it is complicated. Life is complicated. Uh, the truth is never simple. It's always complicated. And then what I'm trying to say is that I found out in my isolation that for sure, for 1000% sure, I was not sure about it. I had this feeling. I come from a line of natural healers from Congo, from Bantu. 
they they are called I, I don't know the pronunciation my father never taught me uh, lingala or anything i never you know but i know that they're called ganga and they are yeah healers healers and i feel very much connected to it my and my and my and three years ago i took my grandmother's name pemba which means clay because i felt like i want to bear this name because i was going through my um stage of like i don't know questioning if i'm non-binary or trans or and i create and i started to do music and i wanted artistic name i wanted to express myself and i choose the name pemba just because i liked it and then i discovered like never ever i was like no then i discovered like a few months ago that pemba is an island i've never ever googled it you know i just use it it's my grandmother's name as bantu's name like bantu name it's um, lingala or i thought it's lingala but no i discovered that bantu um, that, that pemba is an island and it's and it's not even in Congo it's like on the other side it's next to Zanzibar I think Tanzania or something like that and it's mixture of Swahili Bantu and Arabic people living there and it's very 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 famous in a history it was very famous for its healing powers and magic in healers being there and i went ah how, how how but i thought my grandma is congolese you know i thought I, the whole time i thought my grandma is congolese but then i was like push up like ah, ah, ah. it started or connecting because my grandma was not very favored by my grandfather and my grandfather took another wife which he had children with and he was architect he was kind of i don't know i don't know that much but i think he was he had some kind of you know he had a lot of kids he fucked all yeah he was he was a, i think he was a dick he was a huge dick but my father was with my grandfather pemba who was like put aside because she was put aside i was just told he she was put aside you know and when i met my congolese peers and our congolese Congolese relatives when I was 20 I just discovered that like my cousin and my <laughs> whatever is too complicated it's just uh you know it's very 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 in in my god it is very important to say that I possess ability of emotional intelligence very strong emotional intelligence recognizing patterns and analyzing situations relationships people and i can i can trace down i can trace down my past just by just by remembering you know because the information from your ancestors are not like transferred to you only by you know f by photos and and you know i don't know uh, language they are also transferred to you by like body body language and behavior patterns and when your ancestors were gatherers they have these patterns and i discovered that a lot of my like a huge part of my family are gatherers and my, my father was yeah so i traced i traced traced a lot lot of my ancestor wisdom and in heritage through all of this through nonverbal communication through patterns through memories through talking to people and through believing in my intuition it's not you know it's not scientific um and and i'm I, I've, i'm done with scientific whatever and i discovered that this this ability should be connected to me being ganga 
and for me like for people it might seem like a magic but for me it's very specific i know what to do and in my mind i have this web of you know informations connecting together so for me it's analyzing stuff but i'm analyzing stuff on such a deep level emotional level that i can i can like touch you and basically know your trauma and basically like put your trauma on myself and I'm kind of uh, processing your trauma and I'm trying to fix you or like heal you just like it's like very natural for me it's been very very hard because I had no training in this you know I had no training in this my father did not train me really he did not talk about it he did not you know but I picked up I picked up what I could pick up from him just like copying him and observing him and this is me this is me now being 1000% sure that I am Ganga and I'm connected to my spiritual ancestor wisdom and everything and it's not it's not it's connected and I'm not, I self-diagnosed with autism because I think it's the same it's just simply the same and there are theories that I have in my head and it's very suspicious because when the colonizers came and they tried to put Christianity, like try to, you know, establish Christianity as the belief, then they translated, they translated Christian terms into Congolese terms, into Lingala terms, which were similar. And for, for these people to be able to recognize or understand Christianity they referred like for for instance a priest a Christian priest is called Ganga like they they usually call it Ganga you know so originally it was a healer originally it was some kind of a you know you know a person with some abilities uh, very important for community but they wanted to put a Christianity over that and that's why it worked so well because they just changed the name you know uh, it's complicated I don't know how to explain this it's just they faked Christianity on top of Bantu religion or like Bantu belief system and social system and all of it and it worked because yeah, Bantu people were like, Congolese people were like, yeah, so you are this, we also have that, so let's call it the same, you know what I mean? But it's not the same, and so Christianity in Congo is something so, so different, it's not, it's not, it's not, no, it's not, you know? And I have this trouble, I'm ending this video because there's flies all over here and it's getting dark, and I'm having this trouble, I am Ganga, I feel so much. I feel people, I feel patterns, I feel structures because like that's how autistic people work, right? And we're good in structures and understanding the structures. And I know that this word structure is bad, is bad as fuck. And I struggle with... <sighs> I used all my life energy to mask and to cope with that but I am no longer able to I am no longer able to even three hours put me like for for a week in a in a in a coma if I try to mask if I try to cope and so I'm gonna be homeless very much very soon if a miracle does not appear which I'm uh, kind of believing it. I'm kind of feeling it that something's gonna happen because I feel it. It should happen. And uh, there was a star falling here. Uh, not not star, but meteor. There was a meteor falling over there once, like four months ago. And I wished I was like I wish I was free because I was still with my abusive mother, or like my mother had power over me so and I had a wish like I wish I was free
And I am, but I am fucking dying because I'm fucking broke. Like three days ago, I, was, I, I thought that I'm gonna cut my veins and not because I hate myself, but because like I cannot find any other way and there is no other way. I'm in fucking Europe. Everyone here is fucking white and homophobic and I'm, I'm mixed and autistic and queer and i'm like there's no fucking way and i'm like i'm done i'm done with coping i'm done with i cannot i cannot anymore and when i'm myself nobody wants to you know and i have no fucking options here yeah but four months ago star a uh, meteor it's meteorite i don't know i don't know i don't know in english but yesterday in the same spot there was this falling star and I was like, wow, but it was slow. It was, I've never seen meteor is so like, it was, you know, always, it's always like, pew, pew, and you're like, oh, but this was like, Pum. and it was like, wow, it was beautiful. It was beautiful. I could, I could almost see the, you know, it was beautiful. So I was, was like, oh, something's gonna happen and that something is i'm gonna change the whole world so it's not fucked up anymore because i'm ganga i'm ganga and i used i like till this day i used all my energy and all my powers to cope to mask and to learn to learn all these patterns to learn all these patterns when you want to change patterns you need to learn them first so i learned everything everything i was everywhere and now i know everything about capitalism and how it works you know and i'm not gonna bring it fuck it down <laughs> yeah but that's it that's it so either way either way i don't want to end up homeless because i have skin condition and it's gonna be winter you know it would be just too hard for me i want to have something but capitalism is in my way and there's so i am asking you do you feel the same? Do you... I don't know. Do you... <sighs> I don't know. I'm just looking for my people, you know? I'm looking for my people. I also do music. It's therapeutic. I'm a painter. I did not say that. But I just, like, three days ago, I, I finally was like, you know what? I'm done trying this and that and that and being graphic designer and web developer and trying to code AI and whatever. I can do so many shit. I can do, I can do it all. I, can, I mean, like, I can do it and I can do it very properly because I'm autistic and because I'm fucking powerful. But I decided two days ago, I was like, you know what? I'm a painter. You know, I do music and I play instruments and I, uh, I can do so many things. But I yesterday, I, no, two days ago, I decided, you know what? Fuck it, I'm a painter. I'm a painter. It doesn't matter what I do, I'm a painter. This is who I am. And I'm a good painter. I'm a fucking good painter. And it doesn't matter if I paint with paints, with like colors on canvas. I can also play, I can also paint with sounds. How about fucking that? Bitch. I can, I can paint with music. Mm -hmm. I can paint with my outfits. Yeah. You know, my whole life is painting. Look, look where I'm living. Like, look, look at, look at this. This is painting. Look at, look at this. This is painting. This is painting. This is painting. Maiden in the woods. I mean, on the field. Ah. Where, oh, where is my husband? <laughs> yeah, where are you, bitch? I need you. I really need you. Like, fuck. You know, there is a moon over there. Look at this. It's all painting. Because I'm a painter. And this is my favorite spot because everything looks like a painting from here. And so I'm looking for my people. 
are there any other bitches like me out there? Autistic, non-binary, mixed race, whatever, tired of coping. Because I'm not, you know, and like, I did not know, I did not know any of it. I self-diagnosed a few months ago because of TikTok, of course. But then I was like, why does it, I was not, I was not even believing it. Like, now I'm not autistic because of this and this and this and this, you know? But then I was like thinking about it and I, I'm like, for a year, I cannot wake up from my bed and I barely can like eat dinner. And like my life is like, I'm frozen, I'm frozen. And I'm uh, nonverbal or I'm hyperactive or, you know, I'm like, I'm a mess, but I'm not a mess. I'm a, I'm a walking chaos and I'm a ticking bomb. And I know it's not me. I know it's not me. It's the world around me. It's fucked up. And I'm just like very sensitive to it. To it. Uh, so I was like, okay, I might be autistic because I knew my sister is autistic, my mother. And then I was like, okay, but why my mother and my father? Oh, he was also autistic. I, I But it was all normalized. And just a few days ago, I was like, oh, so like, my whole family from both sides are on autistic spectrum my both parents are autistic my siblings are autistic on a on a spectrum somewhere you know and there is like a lot of autistic people that wouldn't be ever diagnosed if they did not find tiktok because uh, diagnosing system sucks because it's patriarchal and colonialistic shit. It's shit because it's not also it, because also it's not a disorder and also you don't you know. And I just found out that like there are more people, not just me, that are very highly, very highly skilled in masking. I was like, I'm still not autistic. Like I may be ADHD. Yeah. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, but I'm not autistic, you know? I'm like, I, I, I've been around some people who were diagnosed with autism, like kids in the early age. And I was like, these are autistic and I'm not like that. So I'm fine. But man, I was so wrong. I was so wrong. I was so wrong. And then I, I was like, oh, and my best friend, my best friend in my, in the kindergarten was autistic. My other best friend and like every friend, every friend that I had could be somewhere on the spectrum. And I did not find it. I, you know, I was like, you know, I'm connecting with you. You have some, something going on. Let's, let's talk. And we talked like for hours, you know, about shit. And I found it like not so for me. I was like being myself, you know? And I was I was just so skilled in uh, masking that I never and that I'm having meltdown now. Oh, I did not realize I'm having meltdown now. Oh, see, this is holistic meltdown. My God, you see, I'm just I'm just I'm just very bad at this. I mean, like, yeah, and my my parents normalized it for me. Like, all the patterns were normal for me. And I knew, I knew as a child, like, my mother was good in masking. And I knew that, like, on a... Outside in the society, we behave like this. And then we don't. You know? And I took it, like... The, it is all I know. It is all I know. And I thought it's normal. I thought it's normal. And I thought when I was dating my abusive boyfriend and he was different when we were home and he was totally different when we were around other people, I thought it's normal. Only like after that, I I discovered that he's a pathological liar and sociopath, you know? But like for me, all these things were normal because because, you know, because they are normal, because they are normal. Like autistic people have been here for centuries, thousands of years. It's the evolutionary advantage. We need autistic people. We need people like me. We need people like you.
you know it's normal it is normal and our life should be normal we should not be marked as disabled we should have our needs met and we should be treated as human beings now and just because we don't fit into the standard that is made just to make profit just to make human beings a livestock that does not mean that we are dysfunctional we're dysfunctional for the system because we're human we're we are we're very human we are very i was like yesterday i was like okay so one of out on one of these autistic traits is that you are good in pattern recognition and like animal pattern behavior and you know like um and you're you need you need patterns around you and i'm like how is it a special trait how is it a special trait because how else it works you have moon phases, you have day night, you have tides, you have year, you have months, you have heat and cold air, you know, you have herds moving for migrating, like you have plants blooming, like how do plants know when to bloom? Do they do they teach do they teach little baby plants in the baby school, baby plant school? How when where to bloom, when to bloom and what is the schedule to bloom, you know? No everything, everything, every fucking single thing is working on a pattern and that it every fucking single living being and even planets, like everything is on pattern. And autistic people are sensitive to this pattern. How is it a dysfunctional trait when nothing, nothing, no life on this planet would exist without pattern and without it the life like itself recognizing its pattern and synchronizing like ah everything is synchronized with the planetary movement of uh, plants do you know do you think that plants are taught astrology astronomy astrology you know and there are there are thought maths thought maths m math m math to calculate when to you know when is the equator parallel to whatever no it's just inherently you have it in you and these humans who are marking us as disabled and dysfunctional i'm like dysfunctional in a system that is dysfunctional like you know, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm in the dark because I'm in the forest. I'm going down to the town because I like to walk when I talk. I usually talk to myself. I mean, right now I'm talking to myself. It's just I'm recording it. And I wanted to go for a coffee because my schedule is fucked up. And I need to publish this video and write someone. And I need, yeah... So, uh, purpose of this video, yeah, so all of this, I think, I mean, I would want to, I would want to structureize maybe more these thoughts, because I have plenty of them, because I was studying, it was like, I was unemployed for a year and a half, and most of my life, I was just like, thinking a lot about structures, and you know, so I have it very good, very goodly, <laughs> very mapped. I have it mapped very well and I have solution. I have everything. And I have like, you know, like sociology, psychology, um, biology, evolutionary biology, everything. Like uh, I mix it with astrology. I mix it with, and I, and I, and I, and I, and I do music and my music is, uh, ritual yeah the, all the music i do is just like a ritual of me being ganga and going through my traumas and my my music through my music i 
hypnotized myself, kind of, uh, and uh, I re-traumatized myself and I br br brought back memories through music. I mean, I used music as a, more like as an anchor or as a guide to not get lost in in my, you know, because I would get lost. But no, whatever, I can talk about all of this. I can talk about all of this, but also I don't want to talk about all of this. You know, this is the last time I'm talking about this um, verbally because I found out like in my early studies, when I was in high school, I wanted to be a writer and I wanted to know languages and I wanted, you know, I'm, I'm, I was into linguistics and I'm, I'm a really good in linguistics and I still am. And, you know, but I did very, 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 very deep research or something. Not even research. I'm not, I don't want to call it like that, like a magical ritual a few months ago and I discovered that I don't want to be verbal anymore because these all of these information are not transfer and not no but no it's not transferable verbally you know it's not it's not and all of I mean like all of it all of it I am talking right now about like is basically was basically transferred to me non-verbally you know through my through my father through my ancestors through my um, through my mother's family behavior through me just observing people even though i did not know their language you know like but i know lang you know like i can talk to people without language you know i know the proto language there's like verb being verbal is like superficial for me right now and when I'm being verbal and I'm trying to communicate all of this, it's just it's just a mess because verbal and written and you know communication is not it's not it it's not it it's very specific. I don't know. It's good for um, like keeping order and you know and keeping capitalism surviving or whatever there's some for sure some capitalistic of shit behind like having everything written but what i'm telling you like this is the last time i want to talk about all of this because i tried to talk about all of this i tried to i tried to shoot many videos just me talking about this but it always ends up like this i don't know if somebody would watch it well, I mean, anybody would, you know, whatever. No, it's like I'm trying to communicate this with my music, with my rituals, with my life. I'm, uh, I'm fixing myself. I found how to treat autism and ADHD, and how to, how to heal trauma, like deep, deep, deep trauma. I healed myself for sexual abuse trauma. I still am working on it, but it's mostly done. And I'm living it. I'm living it, and I'm produ everything I produce right now is just is just communicating it, and I'm communicating it through many, 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 many channels. One of it, one of it is right now talking to my camera, to my phone. I also talked with ChatGPT. I wait, wait for what I'm gonna like tell you about chat gpt is crazy it's not um ai yeah AI, ai language model helped me a lot to to decode a lot of like yeah the verbal stuff i mean of course and yeah i'm just uh you would have to meet me you know you would have to meet me and you would understand because i work Primarily, I work in a physical contact, and if you're in a physical contact with me, it's just I I activate myself subconsciously. I tune myself to you, and it's like the healing process is starting to work. It's just like, yeah, it's just like 
yeah i need i need physical contact is this why it's not transferable whatever but i'm seeking help i'm seeking help i mean i'm seeking i don't really need help i need connections because you know ganga is a healer of a community and i understand it as you know i have this need to be connected to people and to serve them as to serve the community and is a need is a need i need to be around people i need to be social i need to you know like other people are as my senses you know and i'm kind of a, the brain if i if you know like if we call if we talk about collective intelligence then i'm like kind of the center as in ganga and you know i'm i'm fucked i'm fucked without anyone and yeah so far i was i was looking for my community and it never worked because there's too much um groups merged together like i'm non-binary autistic adhd uh pansexual mixed race mixed background growing up you know and and even my mixed background is mixed because my my grand my grandma pemba is mm, i don't think she's bantu you know I, I mean like i don't think she's congolese i think she's from somewhere else and yeah my other half is Slavic, which like Slavic people don't have, like we don't have records. Where do we come from? Which is also crazy. Like there's like, I don't know. They don't, they don't really know where Slavic people come from. Like most likely between, between the, the seas uh, on the Kafkas, from the Kafkas area, probably very mixed. So my descent, you know, like uh, whatever. I'm very, very mixed and from all of the, uh, how, however I could be mixed, I'm a mixed and also I have multiple personality disorder. I mean, it's not a disorder. I decided it's not a disorder because like it helps me. It helps me actually. I'm, I'm, I might be flush. I might be flushing some personalities in here in this video some different ones through the whole video yeah but it's not a disorder it's it's actually superpower it's actually actually superpower and it's my most advanced coping mechanism no like masking mechanism and coping but also survival mechanism like uh my dissociative disorder dissociative identity disorder it's brilliant it's brilliant that's how i manage to be at multiple groups at the same time you know uh, but whatever this is the last time i'm talking about this please contact me if you want to join or if you want to know more if you feel like the same if you need help from me i might might be able to help you but you know like i would just like to have finally uh, finally i would just like to have my family you know the tribe i care for the tribe i care for because me without my tribe i'm done i'm done i need community i need people around me so just write me share with me and uh, please maybe help me for so i don't end up homeless that would be nice i mean like i already have it planned i already have it planned and i already know where i'm gonna live probably if i'm gonna end up homeless i'm gonna live i'm gonna actually live in this in this forest it's very nice like over over there there's a there's a running water but i mean like it's winter is coming and i'm like uh, i'd rather have warm water you know so 
yeah, please help me to not be homeless anymore. Because capitalism, capitalism fucks me over and I think it fucks over everyone. Just no one knows what to do with it. But I do. But I fucking do. So fucking just contact me. Put me in the charge or something. Or not even put me in the charge. Just like, oh, you know, all I need, all I really need is my music. A place where to, a, place, a nice place where to be. I mean, I prefer, I prefer, I prefer mountains and seaside. That would be perfect. And I, I need to, you know, because I'm very highly, I'm highly, highly autistic. I did not realize that, you know, but yeah. And I need, I need my, you know, I need my house. I need my house and I need, I need, I need things to be on places. You know, if p things are not in places, like my back is hurt. I, I feel, I feel the nerves in my, on my back. It's like, ah, oh, there's like, uh, you know, things are not on the right places. Shit. But because so far, so far I've been working with chaos. And I'm very, I've been, ah, oh, my, my fucking God, I've been very good working in chaos. I've been, I've been, ah, oh, I love chaos. But it, it's been 26 years and I'm tired and I need to rest. I need to rest. Yeah, I fucking need to rest. I mean, I've done so much work and I need to rest right now. So, yes, please maybe help me find a place to rest. And everything else is just like, you know, it's, uh, it's, re it is ready. It is ready. I have everything ready. I worked for, I worked so hard on all of this. 